Warm welcome to Joburg today. I'm Danica Lalilan. And I'm Zizi Poindevu. Zizi, one thing I'm finding with the cold months is my love for food is increasing. You and me both. And Joburgers are spoiled for choice. That's right. In and around our city, we are spoiled for choice. And one of the places you can see is the Josie Real Food Market. So, if you're a health-conscious person, then the Jersey market is for you. And a plus, they have different activities for the kiddies. Well, Jersey Real Food Market was started in 2008 by a group of moms who left the corporate world and wanted to spend more time with their children and their families. They started off in 7th Avenue um, in the car park where the Nandos and the Woolies is. And then we kind of outgrew the car park and we've been here at Pirates for the last two and a half years. Well, it's more than just a food market we're trying to uh, establish here. This is, uh, this is Pirates Sports Club. It's one of the oldest sports clubs in Johannesburg. As you can see, we've got all the sporting facilities here, the gym, the squash court. The kids come and play um, for sports here. We've got art classes for the kids. Uh, we're starting self-sustainable gardens, we're doing recycling projects and the thing with the, the traders is, I mean a lot of these people are unemployed and this is how they earn their living and the whole thing is, is, is taking, taking the, the small businessman who has started off at, at, at market, um, getting them to get a Facebook page, getting them to um, have a website and helping them to build up their businesses as they, as they develop. Very, very health conscious. We try not to use any um, preservatives. We try, try not to use um, uh, additives, colorants and stuff like that. We try and make our po products as natural and as healthy as possible. They've got some nice different healthy stuff here from um, some um, carb-free uh, uh, muesli which is delicious and some good coffee and uh, it's nice to go somewhere that doesn't have um, junk and uh, rubbish for your kids and lots of sugar and yeah so it's a nice healthy al alternative. I like the food at Josie Market. Um, for my shekho, for direct today. My name is Chef Coco and you are watching Joburg Today. Join the conversation on our Facebook page, that's joburgtoday.tv. And follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. And if you're one of those people on the move, then pockettv.mobi. That's pocket with an I. So on Facebook, he's known as a secret chef. But having dined at his internationally acclaimed Italian restaurant, Pronto, it's safe to say that the secret is out. Food is a, it's a connected thing. It's about nurturing your body so no matter what you do as long as you're putting good stuff in it's going to taste good i think chefs try to leave people with the fear of the kitchen the kitchen's actually a really safe place i mean you you cook food and as long as you have an interest in eating good food then you can cook well i mean women do have a different sensitivity towards food and um, i think that the idea comes from the idea that women at home are in the kitchens professionally it's mostly seen as a male chef business I think food is about passion and I love to eat so I love to cook. Well I started it 10 years ago, 10 years ago it was a tiny little deli and I used to actually sell some sauces out of my fridge and then clients started coming in at lunchtime and saying to me, look would you just heat this up and put it on some pasta for me? So I was like okay fine and suddenly my 10 seeds turned into 20 into, and it's just sort of progressively grown from there. We've extended the restaurant four times, it is still a family business run by my sister and I. Um, and we've, we've kind of we've had offers to do all sorts of things to make it a much bigger chain and to do that, but that's not what the Pronto formula is about. Well, my food's quite healthy, so the waistline is being looked after. Though everyone will argue pasta every day is not good. I eat pasta every day, so I believe it is. But I also spend a lot of time talking to my clients, and I see what people are interested in food. You know, if chicken seems to be really popular, then I'll try and create a dish around that. My food is classified as international Italian because I follow a lot of strictly Italian recipes, but then I've also changed quite a lot of stuff to, to suit the South African palate. You know, we've been chosen as best neighborhood restaurant twice, and there's a reason why we are, because we really do look after our clients and we care about them. We have an engagement with everybody who comes here. We've been chosen as best Italian restaurant twice. We've been chosen as best bistro twice. Um, and recently, last year, we got an accolade, an accolade from the Italian consulate to say that we meet a certain high standard of Italian restaurants. My thing would probably be to say to people, don't be caught up by the recipes that chefs give you. If you can't get every ingredient, just kind of try and change it. In time, you'll make mistakes, but you'll also start to learn. 
though gluttony is considered a sin i'm sure that this time you can get away with it i mean with this wonderful italian food who would blame you whether you're a joe burger or just popping into town for those few days be sure to book a seat at this fine establishment and do it pronto i'm riley sagani posakwe for joe Berg today My name is Chef Martin and you're watching Joburg Today. Art is actually a lot more meaningful than what we think. That's right. Sam went to the Lafika Lapodisa Centre to find out more. Lafika is an NPO that trains community workers who are going to be surrogate parents and really be able to contribute to psychosocial transformation in South Africa. So specifically who benefits from what we've adapted the art therapy profession to become a community art counselling profession is the broader society. So we are through a program we're running building capacity with trainers and people who have trained with us to be able to increase mental health resources using art therapy and creativity in under-resourced areas. So for adults, we run a training program, which is a one-year training program over time, integrating theory and application of how to become a community counselor and make an impact in that community. We're able to reach not only children who are traumatized, but also their parents, um, educators, um, so really working with disability, working within a very broad sphere of reach. In addition to running training programs for adults, the Lafika La Podiso Art Therapy Center runs programs for children and helps coordinate programs all over the city. The last impact research of the organization showed that in the 21 years in which the Lafika La Podiso Therapy Center has existed, they have reached over 157,000 people. We also run groups for children in an open studio group every Monday and Friday, which is open to children from the inner city. And we run holiday programs on an ongoing basis to provide a continuum of care for kids who don't have that during the holidays. Our open studio group, it offers them a safe space because when they come back from school, they have nowhere to be. So it offers them a safe space to create and be with people who care and who want to be there for them. We are here for, to learn how to use clay and to come and do my art. So art therapy, it's about the relationship between the therapist and the client or the therapist and the group and being able to use art materials to articulate internal states of being. It offers a space where you don't have to feel a session with words all the time. You can let go and things that you um, may not have consciously thought of, they come out in the artworks. Just like any other therapy, it, it aims to heal. This is Samuel Gebhardt for Joburg Today. My name is Kanja Aitz and you're watching Joburg Today. For more on the city, check out our playlist, as well as the latest episode of City of Dreams with ZZ. That's it for me, Danica. And me, ZZ. We leave you at Justin Sorrell, country. Back in ETV. City slickers and their suits with clothes, top cars and model moms. Get a truck, you snob. Yeah, and try. Try something country So let's try something country Let's try something country yeah. No So Jimmy said I'm sorry but I gotta get away Far away, far away from here Oh yeah I'm moving to the country and eat me a lot of peaches. Moving to the country. And mama said, oh, hey, you're gonna smoke all that dope. My bags are packed, I'm ready to go. And there's a girl I know in the country. And this 
So just this once, let's try something country. Let's try something country. Let's try something country. Yeah. And we'll try something country. Yeah. Shut 